and welcome back to another video on individual element in this video we will learn how we can use same app bar for all the activities and all the items on that app bar we will access on all the activities so let's get started first of all go to the value and click on the style and here we will remove the action bar so select no action bar and close the style now go to the activity main.xml and here we will add a button so first we will change this constraint layout to relative layout and add a button match parent wrap content and the text open activity or you can say set. now give the ID let's say I give the ID to the button now centered it centered horizontal and again center vertical okay now we will create the app bar so right click on this layout new and layout resource and just add the name app bar and select this linear layout to toolbar make sure you have select the second one this one click on ok now go to the text and select the height into action bar size now change, now change the background color let's say I select the color ASIN ok now give the ID let's say I select my app bar Now select the theme select the theme this one okay now go to the activity main.xml here we will include that layout so include layout and select this layout app bar now close it now we will create the second activity right click new and select the activity empty activity activity now click on finish ok now again go to the second activity dot xml select the text and again here we will include that app bar so include layout and select that app bar now go to the main activity.xml and here we will access that toolbar make sure you have select this one android x app compat dot widgets now select the toolbar and again create instance for button so let's say i type it button now initialize it toolbar find view by id r dot id dot my app bar id r dot id dot my app bar now call the method set support action bar and just pass this toolbar ok now initialize the button btn find view by id r dot id dot button now set a click listener on this button new one click listener okay now here we will open the second activity so start activity new intent first parameter is the context second parameter is the target activity that is second activity dot class okay now same like this one we will include the app bar to the second activity 
so go to the second entity dot java and again create the variable for toolbar I have select the second one toolbar now initialize it and toolbar is equal to find you by id r dot id dot my app bar now call the method set support action bar and just pass this toolbar okay now first run the application now here you can see our app bar is available on the first activity now open the second activity here you can see app bar is also available on the second activity now we will add the items on this app bar and we will access so first we will create the menu items so right click on this resource new and android resource file let's say i type it first menu and now select the value to menu click on ok now select the text here we will add the items let's say i select the item and give the id let's say i give the id first and give the title i give the title to first and select the icon let's say i select icon from drivable you can select any icon now show as action i select the if room if room is available then it will show now copy this item and paste it below now select the item id to second and also change the title into second now, ch now change this icon i see get ok now we will use this menu items for both activities so right click on this package to create a new class java class and call it menu for all activities now click on ok now this class extend with app compare activity so now override on create option menu now inflate that menu items so menu inflator menu inflator is equal to get menu inflator and by using this will inflate r dot menu dot first menu and the second parameter is also menu that provide this method okay now finally we will return true now override one more method for click listener on that items so on option item selected now here we will create the switch method switch items dot get item id by this method we will access the id of that items so case r dot id dot first if this case is true then we will show a toast message let's say i call it first first item to it now break this one now copy this case and just paste below now select this to second now also change the text okay now finally we will return true now we have accessed that menu by this class now this class extend with both activities now let me check the error okay this bracket is extra so remove this one now go to the main activity and remove this app compact activity because we already extend with this class sorry this class 
so here we stand new for all activity and again for second activity okay now run the application again okay now here you can see our items are available on the first activity so let's click on this one here you can see first item is click and second item is click now open the second activity again on the second activity our items are available now click on the first first item click and again second item click now one more thing if you want to add any extra item on this app bar so how we can create so go to the menu and create one more menu let's say I call it second menu in menu now click on ok now here we will add the item now first go to the first menu items and just copy this item and go to the second and just paste it here now change it into third and also change this IC so let's say IC forward and call this method if room okay press R plus enter to import this class okay now go to the second activity dot java and here we will override that method on create option menu and option menu and we will remove this return this method access the old menu items and now we will access the new menu items so menu items get a menu inflator so menu inflator dot inflate r dot menu dot second menu and again pass this menu now finally we will return ok now run the application again ok on first activity there are two items and open the second activity now if you want to add click listener on that item so override one more method in second activity on option item selected and now create the switch and item dot get item id and create the cases case first or dot id dot third and here we will show a toast message and now here you can say third item is click ok now return here now finally we will default and then default and then perfect now run the application again ok now click on the first item second item and now open the second activity click on the first item second item and now click on the third item here you can see everything is working perfect so if you have any question please ask me in the comment section please like my video share my video and subscribe my channel so see you in next video